welcome to another episode of Arthritis at Home. Today, we're going to talk about the Global RA Network. It's a coalition of 21 member organizations from Europe and the Americas that ACE co-founded. And uh, in the last seven years, has been serving as the secretariat as well. And today we have Isabel Trotsky, who is the programs manager of the Global RA Network. Isabel, welcome to the show. Thank you. Hi, Kelly. Hi, everyone. So happy to be here. We're going to talk specifically today about the, the GRAN, as we call it, the, the network, but in particular, around the annual meeting that we try to hold with members every year. And we time it with the European Alliance of Associations for Rheumatology, ULAR, annual meeting that is held every June in a European city. This year it was in Milan. And a lot of our members of the network are from uh, Europe. So a lot of them do attend the ULAR meeting so it's an opportunity for us to meet in person, which we find obviously really, really valuable. And for people who are not able to attend the ULR meeting, um, they are able to join our meeting, um, a hybrid meeting, and join us by video conference by Zoom, which is what exactly we did in Milan this year in the first week of June. And we had, uh, for the hybrid meeting, I think this year we had 12 uh, organizations present. And we also had an organizing committee uh, for the meeting, which we haven't done before. And I'm happy to say that Isabel and I were joined by our colleagues in Italy, Serbia, Netherlands, and Ireland to help us get this meeting organized. And it was a successful one. And we're going to talk to Isabel today about some of the things that we discussed and accomplished during the members meeting and workshop. And maybe to start off, Isabel, you can maybe walk us through what some of those key activities were for this year's workshop. Sure. Uh, so as you said, the, the organizing committee uh, did a fantastic job at uh, developing a, a very great agenda for that afternoon we spend uh, together. Um, and uh, well, afternoon, afternoon in Europe, but uh, <laughs> anytime across the world. Um, and so we we started the meeting with our regular updates um, and we asked the members to provide uh, an update on a key initiative that um, that they've you know implemented um, during the year and that um, support uh, that support the um, the objective the priorities of the global RI networks or any or using any of the tools that we've developed in the past uh, um, and namely could be the RI dashboard the surveys uh, the 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 the, the, the uh, patient pathway toolkit etc so um, the members had to um, develop a poster that uh, supported their um, their presentation, um, and uh, we uh, we had the chance to actually uh, circulate those posters uh, beforehand to uh, participating members, but also the members who could not uh, participate in the workshop. And um, we had uh, a collection of, of, of great uh, initiatives, really uh, impactful, uh, very innovative as well. Um, so if, if I can name a few, uh, we had uh, APMAR in Italy um, implementing a program on eating well and taking care of, uh, of one's health uh, by eating the right thing, but also taking the, the time to, to eat. And they, so they, they produced also um, uh, a, um, a cookbook or a recipe book uh, for um, people living with RA. Uh, we had uh, Arthritis Ireland uh, developing um, a referral program uh, whereby hospital clinics 
uh, refer um, newly diagnosed patients to uh, Arthritis Ireland, who in turn, you know, supports patients and 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 their caregivers uh, and 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 help them self manage their disease as well. Uh, we had ORS in Serbia also uh, uh, implementing a, um, a program with um, well, a patient expert program whereby they were uh, training activists to um, to in turn um, uh, implement workshops with uh, medical students. Anyway, so this goes on and on. Uh, actually, all those uh, initiatives are. Um, uh, can be um, accessed uh, or the, the posters can be accessed on the website of uh, the Global RA Network, so uh, globalrnetwork.org. So I invite uh, uh, the viewers to uh, to go check them and get inspired. For audience, mem audience members who are familiar with scientific conferences, they know that posters play a key role and that is it's an opportunity uh, every day during a scientific scientific conference where individual or teams of researchers share their most recent work and studies in the form of a large poster. And during the poster session, you can visit hundreds of posters every day to see the latest science. We borrowed that idea from the conference and had our members uh, present their own posters I thought it went really well and everyone else agreed and we are going to do that again at our next annual meeting. So a great initiative. Um, and you also, uh, as programs manager, uh, Isabel, were able to share an update on network activities. Um, mm -hmm. What were some of the initiatives that we're currently working on that you uh, shared updates on with our members? The the updates were really focusing on well first of all the the RA dashboard that we launched a year ago uh, during EULAR, uh 2022 um, we we continue to add um, you know new uh, country RA dashboard to uh, to the list so and and we we also work on updating uh, the data that is presented. Um, uh, about uh, rheumatoid arthritis in in different countries in those dashboards. So that that's one thing. The other thing is we we try to provide more, you know, to increase visibility, um, the visibility of our member organizations uh, on our website. And one uh, project we had this year was to revamp our homepage and present those member organizations in a more fun and and attractive way. So we we uh, we developed uh, an interactive map uh, of our members whereby scrolling on the, on the map you you um, uh, you see uh, the countries where we do have members and what you know who those members are and what the contact information are for those members as well as a link to the RE dashboard that they created with us um, and um, and coming up coming up uh, any key initiative that you know they're doing so that uh, uh, viewers or users of our website can can uh, quickly see what uh, um, what's been done in locally. Um, another um, tool we developed on on the website was a much needed uh, best practice uh, section for members only, where um, it's kind of a repository of all the best in class uh, initiatives that the members have uh, implemented in in the um, in the last few years, and uh, so it's across you know research, advocacy, uh, communications, uh, uh, awareness, education, um, and um, you know any members can 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 go check and and get uh, inspired and adapt any uh, of those initiatives for their own um, countries. So that's uh, one other thing that we've uh, we've done this year. Um, we also gave an update on social media activity. So we, we tried to kind of up our games uh, in terms of social media this year and, and um, increase the, you know, the number of publications, either um, you know, original uh, publications, but also sharing our members' uh, publications on both our platforms, that's Facebook and Twitter. 
uh, and um, and we we were very pleased to see that you know our number of fo followers have has gone up uh, as well as the engagement uh, rate and interactions with our posts, um, and um, and and the. the um, the overall reach uh, of uh, of our publication, so that's something that we'll continue to do, and and uh, and again, um, you know, put the spotlight as well on on what our members are doing locally. So those are a few things that we uh, provided updates uh, on. Now, one of the main features of our workshop at our annual meeting is to focus on a particular topic related to RA models of care. And we discussed this topic then in the context of our different countries. And then we developed some ideas or recommendations how the network can support uh, education or advocacy efforts to advance uh, discussion uh, about that topic in, in each of our uh, member countries. So for this year's workshop, what was the topic? So we we brainstormed with uh, with our uh, organizing committee and we um, we agreed on health inequities as our um, as our topic this year. Um, this is definitely a common uh, issue. Um, you know, across our network, um, and despite differences, <laughs> uh, you know, around the world and even within each country, um, and um, so we decided that um, what well, it was worth discussing and trying to find um, a way for the network. So as a group and also uh, as um, individual organization, how we could. Uh, try and, and overcome uh, some of those uh, inequities or at least contribute to <laughs> overcome. Um, of course, some of those inequities uh, are, you know, can only be tackled by governments, but, uh, you know, we, we, we can probably move the dial on, on some, some elements. Um, so the, the first part of that group discussion was dedicated to sharing, um, you know, our diverse experiences with health uh, inequalities uh, around our countries. You know, in some countries, it's uh, it's based on geographies. So, you know, you you you, you lack access to to care uh, in remote areas. Some are um, uh, more um, around, um, you know, different population so immigrants and 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 minorities not getting the same access or the same care um and some don't have the same access to drugs to treatments um anyway so those were very diverse so we we discussed that we kind of of you know uh, list them all and in the second part of the discussion we um we tried to find uh, ways we could do something about uh, about them, um, and um, so it was decided that that one element uh, we we could do is collect uh, at least data um, about health inequities in our different member countries uh, and include them in our RE dashboards. Uh, that uh, already exist and and the upcoming uh, ones. So now the matter, uh, you know, is to uh, define what those uh, data sets are around uh, health inequities and 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 try and and get the the data, which is not a, a you know always simple as we've learned uh, in uh, you know in developing those RA dashboards in the past uh, getting access to the data is not always uh, always easy um, so so that will be one of our next steps our audience um, likely has heard um, ace talk about health inequities certainly over the course of the past couple of years, it's become a very important uh, public policy priority for, for our organization. And I think we've shown leadership in Canada, but we're also showing it internationally because as part of the workshop, we were able to share findings from 
a national survey that we conducted in Canada that looked at health inequities. And we were very fortunate to be able to present data from that survey as part of a presentation at ULAR. And certainly one of the things that we talked about in the workshop were our survey findings that found that um, women from black, indigenous, and person of color communities um, face real and significantly um, impactful barriers when trying to access uh, arthritis care, whether that's inflammatory arthritis or osteoarthritis, but particularly inflammatory arthritis. And when they do that, they benefit less from their interactions with their healthcare provider. And I think that was sort of one of the galvanizing points uh, at the workshop. And as you said, we talked about some steps uh, moving forward. And I think concrete things like adding data to the RA dashboard is really important. And also I think we talked about working together with healthcare providers uh, as partners and also as advocates when dealing with policymakers, striving to try to create uh, these safe spaces um, uh, where people can get culturally appropriate and sensitive uh, and equitable care. And I think that's something that almost all of our member organizations are grappling with right now at varying levels. And so I think this is something for people uh, to look forward to um, from a global RA network perspective. It's something that we're going to be looking at um, in, in, in the remainder of this year, but in the, uh, in the subsequent years to follow as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, no, I do agree. Educating and, and you know, working with the healthcare providers to, to, you know, better, and and adapt the way, we, the way we care about our patients, um, any our patient, um, yeah, well, is key. Yes. Um, well, thank you for that summary, Isabel, and You're obviously, welcome. thank you again for the role that you play with the network. Um, you're sort of the person that keeps everything together and moving forward. So. Um, I know you did a lot of work helping organize that that meeting that we had. So thank you for your contribution and thank you for joining us today, Isabel. Thank you very much. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for joining and look forward to see you at the next Arthritis at Home episode. Bye-bye.